Uh, hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. And we talked about Spark a little bit earlier today, but I noticed that most of you guys that only read the title or only watch the first couple of minutes actually did not get my very important message, which was that Spark will be able to be traded already on the Bitru exchange. Now, from my own perspective, I've told you guys a couple of times before over on Twitter saying it's going to be very important that we know from these exchanges whether or not they'll be supporting it. However, apparently, this is officially the only exchange that has actually said they'll be allowing it, and they've also explained that you can actually do it prior to it already. Now, there are a couple more things that are very important to know and understand, and some stuff about my strategy that we'll get into in just a couple of seconds, but make sure you press the like button, guys, because if we can get 1,500 likes on this video within 24 hours, we're giving away 250 XRP. All you have to do is make sure you press the like button, make sure you are subscribed, and make sure you comment something down below. Having said that, let's take a deeper look at this exchange because apparently my quick mention of it earlier was not enough. Bitru will support the upcoming Spark token airdrop which will take place on December 12th, we all know that. More than 50 exchanges announced their support for the upcoming drop. And I, I somewhere have the exact numbers but I could not find it again about how much Spark has been claimed. I think it was roughly about 17.5 billion or so which is quite a lot if you count in real numbers of people that have claimed it. However, it's not that much if you consider that there's 45 in total, 45 billion. But again, there were a couple of things in place, right? Where, for example, the whales could only claim at maximum 1 billion Spark, so 1 billion XRP, which a lot of people also do not know about. But again, just check out my tweets or, or my videos about the Spark and how to claim it, because I've explained everything you need to know about Spark, literally everything. Bitru has a crypto exchange who ties to XRP run deep. Then they have revealed that it will support the airdrop that will take place on December 12th. Holders of XRP who keep their true uh, tokens on Bitru's exchange will have their account balances automatically credited with Spark tokens. And when the token is minted and issued to account holders, which is expected to occur in March 2021, the exchange will open a market for Spark trading. Bitru has been a long XRP stronghold having launched in July 2018 with the goal of serving Ripple's passionate community of token holders. It's since diversified the number of cryptocurrencies it supports, but remains loyal to XRP, and thus, it was anticipated that the exchange would support the Spark airdrop. Yep, yeah. alright, pretty damn amazing. And again, the bigger picture here with Spark is that it's going to be bringing XRP and DeFi together. It's been you know, kind of a battlefield for a very long while between Ethereum and all the upcoming ones, like, for example, Cardano, and some that have already kind of established it, maybe even TRX in that sense. However, I don't think many people actually expected XRP to also be overtaking uh, come some other cryptos, at least, in, in that respect, or at least coming up to a certain degree on this specific subject. And I, I like it a lot, you know, to see that XRP is being supported on every kind of note. The only reason I'm saying it's bad and I've said that a couple of times before, is because I think it's going to get a lot of people to lose their money because people don't know exactly how it works and they'll just agree to something which they didn't want to and they'll lose money. But in general, for the general adoption of the cryptocurrency and for the use case and the utilization, it's a very big plus and thus I am very excited to see it. And if you scroll down a little bit and you just check in how this all works, it's, it's very important that you're well prepared for Spark. I've told you guys a couple of times by now how exactly you can claim it and here was actually another article which you guys went crazy about over on Twitter on a website I've never actually seen before, but this one is talking about first ever FXRP listing announcement shared by Top Exchange. Just talking about Bitru, nothing too special. Again, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Uh, it's just important to know that, well, they're officially doing it because I asked a question a little bit earlier and we finally got our answer. At least one of them is supporting it. Now, why I said it's important to know how to claim Spark properly is because you should have your XRP on on an exchange if you wanted to make it easy in terms of taxes as well on the contrary i don't know if you want to pay taxes of course i don't know what you're going to be doing and on a certain end also you should make sure that your money if it's on an exchange is on one that you trust and you like and you know that's going to be supporting spark and flare throughout the whole road so in the description i always have a bit true link right and the reason I, I i have that one there is because well even though i don't trust that with all my funds and all my money I know that they have the best out for XRP and they most likely also earn quite a lot and have a lot of in XRP of their money. 
I kind of feel as if they have the best out for us, so if they were to pull a, a bigger scam like that, it would be a pretty big issue, and I, I don't know how regulated they are, because you don't have the KYC that's mandatory, and I mean, maybe in the US it's not even completely usable, I don't know that for sure though, uh, the thing is, I kind of trust it a lot more than some platforms like what I'm just showing you guys here, Gitia Giotus supports the Flare airdrop for XRP holders, get 5% extra Flare tokens, so stuff like that, I just personally don't trust, right? I just do not like it because if you start to think about it, this spark is going to be given to us in a ratio to how much XRP we have, maybe one to one, maybe one to 1.5, who actually knows? It depends on what's going to happen in a couple of days from now. However, announcements and statements like this are kind of making me sad or kind of afraid of exactly what's happening in that situation. Because I'm like, well, maybe some exchanges are actually going to scam us out of those tokens because they you know, are going to be planning something in the back end or, or, or something like that. Or, like, for example, this exchange here where they're giving you an incentive to join their, their platform and give you some free flair to just deposit money. I kind of feel as if this type of stuff is just going to scam you. Where you put your XRP in and after Spark, you're never going to get it back. That's kind of a vibe I feel from these guys right now. And by the way, if you... This is actually outside of the whole Spark situation. If you're just looking for a place to get go and trade stocks and crypto, make sure you check out Webull. The thing is, if you hold crypto on here, you cannot withdraw it or stuff like that. It's not like you can, can get Spark for your XRP that you hold, but you will have the money, for example, just tied up in that. So it's still like you're having XRP, so to speak. Make sure you check it out. It's link in the description below. The main reason I'm saying that, again, for US people only, is because you'll get two or even four free stocks if you make an account and deposit a couple of bucks. So check it out, link down below. Moving further though, because again, I just want to keep reminding you guys that you shouldn't just join any platform and put your money there. And if you still have it on the ledger, I can almost, again, I'm not going to say it, but I can almost say with certainty that the ledger airdrop is completely fine as well for Spark. I mean, I, I have seen so many people do it right now and Everything is still looking pretty damn juicy and fine. So I'm going to say there's not really that big of a risk. And I mean, if you check the whole process out like we did a couple of days ago when I gave you a tutorial, there's really not that many steps where you can actually get hacked or really where something can go wrong. So from that perspective, again, it's kind of a uh, an almost 0% zero, zero chance of, of them hacking you. It could more so be that you, by accident, for example, publish your private key rather than your public key, stuff like that just stuff that's really your own personal fault, which I personally don't like. And that's why I've said before, just send your money to a thing like BitTrue or maybe even Coinbase or Binance if you want to make it easy. On the contrary, though, they will handle your taxes in a different degree where, again, it will be on record that you've gotten it. You can't say that you've never claimed your spark and thus you really don't have it and you're still going to have to pay taxes now, which you shouldn't forget. Then, Ripple's XRP braced for a bombshell after Coinbase reveals airdrop support. So it was actually very much thought about that Coinbase was right now going to be the biggest bull for XRP. And if you check Reddit, which we'll come to in, in, in another video coming out later today, everything on Reddit was really focused on this <laughs> like a man, all right? Sneeze like a real, like a real alpha. You heard that? I'm going to keep that in, not even going to cut it out. So you got to accept, say bless you. All right. Thank you. Thank you for saying bless you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm going to keep that in, though. I, I like it. That's, that's real. So a lot of people over on Reddit were really, really hyped up about this whole situation with, with Spark and Coinbase and stuff like that. I think the main reason it's bullish is because Coinbase was the biggest hurdle and it felt like, like a couple billion people were being left behind with their XRP. And now that they supported it, all the people who are having their XRP on Coinbase finally didn't have to go through some strange maneuvers and some really timely processes to get it out. However, as of this point, it is not certain whether or not Coinbase will actually support it, right? We don't know whether or not Coinbase will actually allow you to trade it on there, which is another important part. And again, if you have not done so, if you haven't claimed your Spark, make sure you check it out quickly. Again, even though your Spark may be given to you in a in a very long while, and even though it may be just 15% at the start, and it will take 34 months to get there eventually, there's a lot of people who are very excited to be holding it right now. A lot of people are holding it very, very dearly. And this, again, I'm, I'm just telling you guys once more, make sure at least that you claim some by having your money on an exchange that you like or trust. If you really don't trust any exchanges and you want to do a ledger only, I still personally think it's going to be fine to just go through the site and... Fill in everything, just 
exactly how the tutorials have said before, like we also covered on this channel. Don't go through some third party to do all this stuff. Uh, don't go through some skate sketchy YouTube videos. Just check out Vitsevind on Twitter or Flare, the official website. Just check their Twitter, go to the website and do it officially. Do not do anything else. If you've done that though, you must be fine, I think. And again, this is not financial advice anywhere in this video, not legal advice, nothing like that. It's just my personal observations, opinions, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that was it for today. Pretty big day if you consider that we finally got a way to exchange Spark. And it's also one of the exchanges that's most XRP oriented. So that's pretty damn good. And again, we're going to be seeing a lot more of these. This is most likely just to start. However, which ones exactly and whether or not it will be Coinbase, that's still to be seen. If it is Coinbase, though, and if they will, it will be a pretty huge day because a lot of people will be talking about that, just like how the announcement of Coinbase's support also brought a lot of attention. Make sure you check out the links down below, guys, and I'll see you again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody.